Okay, so it's Cat Stanley Space Demon coming at you again. And today I want to talk about the seminal punk rock guitarist who slammed Kiss. Okay, so the New York Dolls are considered one of the seminal bands of early punk rock. They formed in New York City back in 1971. And though they never achieved much commercial success, their first two albums, 1973's New York Dolls and 1974's Too Much Too Soon, are now considered cult rock and roll classics. On the strength of songs like Personality Crisis, Jet Boy, and Trash, they were well known for their sleazy androgynous look, which included makeup, dresses, um, high heels, and lead singer David Johansson's vague resemblance to Rolling Stone Mick Jagger. Now, by 1975, drug and alcohol abuse, as well as artistic differences, began to take its toll on the band. And that year would also see original guitarist Johnny Thunders and drummer Jerry Nolan leave the band. The group would carry on before splitting up at the beginning of 1977, with lead singer David Johansson going on to a solo career, including a stint as lounge singer Buster Poindexter, and he would also appear as an actor in some feature films like Car 54, Where Are You?, and Let It Ride with Richard Dreyfuss. Uh, now, rhythm guitarist Sylvain Sylvain would go on to continue playing in various bands and as a solo artist, his self-titled 1979 solo album would reach number 123 on Billboard's 200 chart. And in 2005, the two surviving original members of the Dolls, Sylvain and Johansson, would reform the band for the album One Day It Will Please Us To Remember Even This, followed by a tour, and the band would go on to record two more studio albums, 2009's Cause I Says So and 2011's Dancing Backwards in High Heels. Sylvain Sylvain would pass away in 2021, leaving Johansson as the last surviving member of the original band. Of course, one band who were influenced by the New York Dolls back in those early days were none other than New York City's own heavy metal masters, Kiss. In fact, Kiss original drummer Peter Chris had auditioned for the Dolls before Kiss had started to take off. He would lose out in that audition to his good friend Jerry Nolan. But uh, back in 2003, former Dolls rhythm guitarist Sylvain Sylvain had some things to say about Kiss. Now this was before the Dolls had their reunion in 2005. This is what he said. The Dolls became popular really fast. We put on makeup to get girlfriends. Kiss quickly found out that if you're a guy wearing makeup, you get a lot of chicks. We used to play the hotel diplomat all the time, way before Kiss. We were in the effing New York Daily News, and Kiss was asking, how did you guys get this press? I've always said this over the years. There's no real comparison with Kiss and the New York Dolls. If you're a schmuck sitting in Split Lip, Nevada, and you haven't been out of your cabin for a long effing time, you would say, yeah, the New York Dolls and Kiss, they both wear makeup. That's the only thing you could say. To me, Kiss always seemed like they were soul searching. They really didn't know who the F they are. I thought their music was very, very simple. The reason why I think they made it and we didn't is because it was an easier pill for America to effing swallow. They didn't ask you to have sex with Frankenstein. The dolls did. So obviously Sylvain Sylvain back in 2003 uh, when he made these comments, very bitter, very jealous of the success of Kiss. He slagged them off as having very simple songs and uh, where it, not having anything in common with his band, the New York Dolls. And he did go on to say this as well. The Dolls were an underground, subterranean, sleazoid rock band. America could bank on something like Kiss, but not the Dolls. To America, we were gay. 
We were drag queens. We were disgusting. We were diseased and drug addicts. Compared to Kiss, we were a lot more dangerous. So he's basically saying that they were basically, uh, the dolls were badasses. People thought they were gay, uh, but they were sleazy. Uh, Kiss were an easier pill to swallow for middle America. And uh, the dolls were the badasses and Kiss were not. But it's funny that he would slag off uh, Kiss's song saying, uh, talking about how simple they were. Um, You know, the dolls were notorious for being horrible musicians. So the fact that uh, he would take a shot at Kiss's music is kind of laughable. But he obviously thought the the dolls were uh, superior to Kiss in every way. Obviously, uh, you know, envied the Kiss's uh, commercial success. Or kind of tried to uh, ballyhoo his own street credibility due to the fact that the dolls never really made it. Certainly not the way Kiss did. But uh, he did go on to say this. It was published in 2013, but I think it was from that same interview in 2000 to 2003. He said this. Every idea they ever effing got was from the dolls. So now he's basically saying... Uh, accusing Kiss of ripping off their ideas. And then he goes on to say this. Uh, He kind of does a bit of a backtrack. He says, I love what Kiss did and think it's incredible how huge they got. But I have to say, I missed the blues in them, which is something that Dolls had. So now he's sounding like uh, Richie Sambora saying that, uh, you know, his band was a lot more blues based. And then he goes on to this, he says, But I've always respected that they were talented enough to change everything and be more successful than David Bowie, myself, Iggy Pop, and the Velvet Underground. So finally, after all this uh, naysaying, he has to give the devil his due, and he gives props to Kiss for all of their commercial success, blowing all uh, all of those uh, critically acclaimed acts like Uh, Lou Reed and Iggy Pop out of the water in terms of commercial success and somewhat grudgingly gives the devils their due. So that's a Sylvain Sylvain seminal punk rock guitarist from the New York Dolls take on Kiss. What do you guys think? Fans of the New York Dolls, are you uh, punk rock snobs? Do you think Kiss is crap? You think the Dolls are much more badass, far superior superior to kiss in every way as Sylvain Sylvain seemed to believe or Kiss Army fans out there do you take offense to this and you just think Sylvain Sylvain was just as bitter never was but I do think uh, the Dallas had their second run in the 2000s uh, they did have a little bit more success he was able to enjoy uh, years after the fact uh, during that 2000 reunion but overall definitely People know the name Kiss and the Dolls never really more than a local phenomenon in New York. They just done, like he said, Middle America just never really latched onto them unless you're a fanatical music fan, you probably know about them. But that's the video today. I hope you dug it, man. And we'll see you next time. See you here. <laughs>